Hello, this is Elijah Keating from wisdomseekers.net. Again, please go check us out. Don't bounce fast. Uh, this is for the full moon from December 22nd, 2018. This is going to be the longest full moon in nearly a decade. And it's called, by the Algonquins anyhow, the full cold moon because of the kind of light it shines uh, on the, onto the snow and things like that. It has sort of a blue tinge to it. It is rather chilly. So let's see what the energy has to say for us for this full moon. And the first card I pulled was the card Open Up. And, uh, a full moon has a lot of drawing power, so it sounds appro appropriate, doesn't it? Let's see. And we'll pull the first card, the base card, is Three of Pentacles. One of my favorites, and I have a lot of favorites, I know. But it is one of my favorites because it's a powerful card. It's a card of doing things because you made it happen. Made it happen through your own efforts, your own own work efforts, but you have made it happen. And that doesn't mean you go out and, and uh, stack wood and, sh and shovel snow or uh, whatever. It means that through your own efforts, you're making things happen. And that's a very positive event. Because who doesn't take pride in their own efforts? They should. But what covers it? The Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is a card of, of depression. And when I read for this week's energy, it did say there would be a little bit of this energy moving out or moving through. So we're going to go with this energy is moving out. And even in the cards, you can see that the sunlight is starting to come through. A new energy, new daylight is starting to show. So that means that uh, all the effort you put into things is creating and shifting and things are moving out. And they've got the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands, this is behind us. So the Eight of Wands is a card of being happy, very being very ecstatic, in fact. But at the same time, having your feet firmly planted on the ground, being very, very grounded. And it goes along with the Three of Pentacles. And it also goes along with the Four of Swords. It goes along with the Three of Pentacles because you don't just start working. And it happens. You've worked for a while to make it happen. So you know things are moving and shifting. The Four of Pentacles, it goes along with that too because you're vibrating at a higher, more profound level. And the depression can't stay with you any longer. What's immediately below? The King of Swords. And the King of Swords, if he's a human being, is a very sharp, smart, sharp-tongued man. I prefer to read it as an energy because it's a group bent reading. It's not an individual reading. So as a group reading, it's a card of change. It's a card you've chosen to make a shift. You've chosen to, this change. It's thought out. It's uh, it's it's everything. Thing you you've you decided that yes, it is time to move on. It is time to create something new. And again, that goes with the fact that you are now vibrating at a higher or faster vibration and the old can no longer sustain itself. And the, what's immediately in front of us is a chariot. And the chariot is a card of balance, which we've been talking about since the beginning of the reading. It is a card that suggests that you may fall out of balance. And Never worry about falling out of balance. It's how you deal with the falling out of balance. Can you make a change? Can you bring yourself back into balance? And how long will it take you? Do you need to be down for a couple of days and, and feel horrible? Sometimes you do. Then if that's the case, then do it. But it's also a card that, that has said you have learned how to bring yourself back into balance how to how to deal with the feelings, how to deal with the changes and the emotions. 
and so you should do it. And it's also a card of suggesting that you're doing what you're doing is working well. So keep working and doing it the same way you have done it in the past. Create the inner balance within yourself. And what's immediately, oh wow, I like this. Shall I keep you in suspense? It's the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is a card of mature joy and happiness. It's a card of being being very pleased with life. Things are falling into place for you. Allow it to happen. Don't be one of these people that things start to work for you and you go, oh, I don't deserve it. Because you do deserve it. You have worked your butt off to get there. And you've gone through crap to get there. Remain in balance and allow. Allow yourself to receive the bounties of the universe. And now we pull the wand, Prince of Wands. And the Prince of Wands, is a, as a human being, is a young man or a young person who bounds in. It's, he, he's got a little energy here, a little energy there. It's kind of exhausting. But again, I'm going to read it as an energy rather than a person. And it is telling me that you and you know this because you bring, you're bring you bringing up the Ten of Cups. You're be bringing in joy, mature joy. You're also, and joy comes with knowledge, truth and knowledge. And so he's bringing up, or this energy is coming in, it's bringing in new energy, new knowledge, which is also really old knowledge, but it's also wisdom. And you're bringing in and being balanced because knowledge without wisdom is sort of irrelevant. All right, so things are going really well for, for you. This full moon should be spectacular. And the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a balance of the male A energy, the female energy, the yin and the yang. And as I say, it doesn't matter which. And this card, these cards echo last week's energy reading where there was a balance between the male-female energy, and it's continuing on into this full moon energy. And balancing of the energy is always a plus. With where you're out of balance, then you don't, you cannot be truly joyful. You cannot truly be on the path. You cannot do a lot of things. So even if you're not happy, and you're balanced, you can still move forward. And uh, the next card is the card of death. And I'm going to pull another card to see why it's a death card. But everything has been very beautiful up to now. So I imagine what it has to do is letting go of that which no longer suits us, no longer belongs to us. That is, a that is indeed a mini death saying goodbye to that which has been so much a part of our lives. Now, because the next card is a Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups, and anybody who's followed me for a while knows this is the wish card. And the wish card is make a wish, but it's also being on cloud nine. It's also being very, very happy. And very, very exuberant. So the death card is positive in this case because you're saying goodbye you're letting go of that which no longer you no longer need because you have new knowledge you have new ideas and you've created balance all right so basically this full moon is even though it's a really long one is a nice portal for new positive energies let go of that old stuff bring it out and now, then you get to strengthen your bonds. You get to strengthen that which you are in reality. Not your ego, not your personality, but the truth of who you are. And the truth of who you are is, of course, you're beautiful. The soul is a beautiful thing. So open up, strengthen your bonds, allow that to ha allow good to come into your life, and allow the negative energy to become a memory. You don't want to get rid of it. You never want to get rid of that which we are, are that has been part of it. But we can allow it to 
move into a memory realm. So with that, I think we've got a really good full moon. And I'm going to go Namaste.